We're given a geometric sequence that starts with term zero, and that term is negative four. The common ratio we're given is negative three, which means to get from one term to the next, we are multiplying by negative three. First part of the question is just asking us for term one and term two. We're already given term zero. So in order to go from term zero to term one, we multiply by our common ratio, which is negative three. So I'm gonna take negative four and multiply by the common ratio to get term one to equal 12. To get to the second term, or term two, you take term one and you multiply it by the common ratio again. So term two is negative 36. The next part is asking for our recursive formula. Recursive formula is pretty easy. All we need is the common ratio. So the way that you would read this formula is you're taking the previous term, multiplying by the common ratio to get to the next term. So all you have to do is fill in negative three and you're done with the recursive formula. For the explicit formula, you need the first term and the common ratio. Now there are actually two different explicit formulas, depending on whether you use term one or term zero. If you use term one, this is your explicit formula. We found term one in the first part of the question. We found that it was 12. And we know our ratio is negative three. So that's one version of our explicit formula. The other option is to use term zero. So this time, instead of raising it to the n minus one, like we did over here, we're raising our ratio to n. So our zero term was given to us, that was negative four, and our ratio was also given to us, it was negative three. The last part of the question is asking us to find the 10th term. Now, you can use either one of the explicit formulas. I'm gonna show you how you can use both of them. So if I use the one on the left, using term one, n is 10, since I want the 10th term, we have 12 times negative 3 to the 10 minus 1 power. Now, I would encourage you to pause the video so that you can try to do this on your own. Just make sure you use the correct order of operations. Start by figuring out the exponent, 10 minus one is nine. And then according to the order of operations, you have to do negative three to the ninth power before you multiply by 12. So once you raise negative three to the ninth, that's when you can multiply. And this is a very large number. So negative 236,196 is the 10th term. 
You could also use the other version of the explicit formula using our zero term instead of term one. So again, I want the 10th term, which means n is 10. So this time we have negative three to the 10th power multiplied by negative four in the front. So negative three to the 10th is done first before we multiply by negative four. And you will see that it's the same thing we got the first time we did it. 